Hello friends, welcome to my Allegro 5 tutorial and in this tutorial I will tell you how to install Allegro in your compiler. You can use the dynamic libraries from here. I will post the link in the description. As you can see this is the version 5.2.5.0 and uh, if you want you can check which compiler you have. This is for the 32 bit compilers, these four, and these four are the 64 bit compilers. I have 64 bit compiler, so I am using this. This is the newest version right now. If you want to uh, use your up to date uh, version, because by that time maybe it has been updated, so you can click here, releases and uh, you will see here a newer version like it's a newer version of the 4 Allegro 4 and it's the newest version of the Allegro 5 so I am using this you can click here it says Allegro 86, 64 and W64 which means that I am using Minji W64 and uh, this is the latest one this is the dynamic library and this is static library you don't need the static library because uh, you uh, because dynamic library is much preferable I would just simply sh say that in short click here and uh, you can save it from here I have already downloaded it so I am not going to download it again I have this in here I'm opening it and now you can click here and extract it to a specified folder I mean uh, I'm extracting it in the desktop folder because it's my go-to folder for anything and now all the files have been extracted and you will see three folders here these are the binary files all the DLL files which to be used in the projects in the upcoming projects and uh, this is the include file include folder all the headers are in here and this is the library file which uh, contains all the source code and you can see all the copies of the object codes are here so copy these three and go to your MinGW folder and you can just click and paste here I have already copied all of them so I don't need to do that now you are ready to use all the files in your projects you uh, you will need to uh, compile all the projects with your command line compiler because Corblox doesn't support it you know Corblox has a minimal version of MinGW it has TDM compiler which is not exactly MinGW compiler so you will need the bigger suit you will need a, a MinGW com compiler which I have posted the video before you can watch it and download MinGW compiler and make sure that you have all the environment variables set up and in the next tutorial I will tell you how to uh, set up all the files in your project and how to compile and how to make your first display okay friends bye